Ukrainian soldier Serhii showed our camera crew around the Ukrainian military's positions in the Avdivka industrial zone. A couple of years ago, the young man signed a contract to join the army, as he was afraid the so-called Russian world would be established in his hometown of Dnipro. After his tour ended, he only lived six months as a civilian before returning to the front. Movement through the Avdivka industrial zone is controlled by a strict set of rules. The first rule is to keep a distance between troop members. The second is to be quick. Areas that are out in the open are constantly under enemy surveillance. They observe us, and as soon as they see us, they open fire right away. When they talk about a ceasefire, it doesn't work. If they see someone, ceasefire or not, they shoot right away. And when there is a ceasefire, they attack really heavily at night. Ukrainian forces only open return fire when necessary. If they don't respond, then Russian hybrid forces begin to move in closer. We have to give return fire. We are holding them back so they don't end up in a place where they aren't wanted. We are trying to show them that they need to leave. The enemy lets themselves be known from time to time. Support and understanding from loved ones is one of the things that help Ukrainian soldiers stay strong, especially in one of the hottest points in the Donbass. Serhii recently became a father, giving him a future to fight for. He's already a month old today. He's at home lying down, waiting for me. On the front line, Ukrainians from every region fight for their country. Here, letters are treated dearly. The soldiers keep them close, read them many times over, and gaze hopefully at the pictures, hoping for a safe return and for a quick victory. Reported by Ihor Medilan, UATV.